Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how we can start building our navigation. Now, this is going to be an introduction to some new elements like an unordered list, a nav element, a list item, and we're going to show you how we can get those looking a little bit more like what we'd expect from a navigation. So let's get going on that right now. So now that we've learned a little bit about linking things, let's go ahead and build our site's navigation. So we can come into our HTML, and first thing we want to do is, let's go ahead, I'm going to get rid of this Google link. I'm going to keep the about for now. However, I'm going to add a new element called nav. Now, nav is a uh, new element in HTML5 to let you know that this is an a navigation section of your website. Now inside of nav, we can have an unordered list uh, because essentially what we're going to have here is an unordered list of links. So it's going to be a list of links because they're not ordered, it's a UL. So now inside of the ULs, we need list items. So LI stands for list item. And as you can see here, we have now one list item inside of our unordered list. So let's go ahead and take this navigation link, this about link, and let's put it inside of this uh, list item here. Now what we can do is copy this line, add a new one, and we can change this about to home. Now we can change the link to be the correct page, which is just index.html. Okay, so we now have two links inside of our navigation. Let's come here and check it out on our website. Cool, so we now have a unordered list. You can see we have home and about. They'll take us to the right pages. However, we have some weird things going. I don't know how many websites you've ever seen that had a navigation that sort of looks like a dotted list here. Not to mention we also have these underlined uh, purple or blue links that are sort of the default color. So this is all sort of wrong. This is not what we want. Let's first head to our HTML and add a class on our nav. And this can just say class main nav. Okay. And I'm going to copy this class. I'm going to come to our CSS here. Now I can say dot main nav. Then inside of brackets, we could add our styles. Since I want to actually affect the UL right now, what I want to do is say dot main nav, unordered list, and then brackets. From here, we can have a property called list style none. So list style none. I finish that off with a semicolon like so. What this does is it basically says for this list, you know, we have these bullet points, maybe we have disks or we have dashes or something like that. Well, we don't want any sort of list style. So when we refresh, you can see that those bullet points are gone. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to make each one of these items an inline block. Well, we can do that by adding display inline to the list item and we could do that and we could add display block to each individual link itself. Let's come to our list. I'm gonna copy this property here. I'm gonna say now UL LI, and I'm gonna actually put this UL LI. Now in here, I can go ahead and say, I can say display inline. Now, we went over display inline versus display block a little bit ago, and what you'll see is that now, instead of taking up their own line, each one of these list items, when we refresh, is going to be on its own line. Now, they're pushed over here a little bit. Let's go ahead and see why. We can inspect this element by right-clicking on it, and we hover over UL, and you see there's some default information here. We have some default padding and some default margin on this unordered list that we're not super excited about having. I didn't tell it to be there, it's just the default for lists. So we can come in here and we can say padding and zero and margin is also going to be zero. That's going to remove the margin and padding on the list. We can refresh, okay. Now let's get to work on these actual links themselves. We want to go ahead and say, let's copy this line here, paste it in, and now let's go and add an A 
to that chain. So what this is saying is saying any anchor links that are inside of a list item that's inside of an unordered list that's in our main navigation, let's go ahead and add some properties. One of which is going to be text hyphen decoration. Now text decoration is going to be set to none. This will remove the underline from the text. In addition, we're going to say color and we're gonna want these to be FFF or white. Okay, so we now have our first navigation for our website. We can click home, we can click about. You can see the about me takes me to this about page. We can always hit back. Once we get finished with this header, we're actually gonna copy this header code right over to our about page, but I don't wanna keep doing that over in time until we're all done with that. And in fact, in modern web development, there's actually a lot of ways around this. Most of it involves server side rendering though. So we're not going to get into that in our first website. However, maybe in your second or third or fourth website, we can cover some of that stuff. So in the next video, we're going to be explaining floats within CSS and what floats can do to your layouts. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.